a very cool and charming morning to all my lovely students today we are going to discuss how a morning can be good because we always greet each other good morning but how can we make our morning good first of all when we get up early in the morning take blessings from the god take blessings from the god then wish your grandparents your parents and your siblings for good morning say them good morning grandpa good morning grandma good morning mama good morning papa good morning brother good morning sister if you wish them good morning then automatically your morning will become good then when you freshen up yourself after that you should perform some exercise exercise keeps us healthy exercise keeps us healthy and fit so to be fit and healthy we should do exercise so in the morning first of all we have to take blessings from the god we have to do exercise we have to wish everyone and next is we have to eat healthy breakfast we have to eat healthy breakfast and healthy breakfast consists of milk chapati and veggies milk chapati and veggies so you can eat whatever you like but you should eat protein filled milk protein you should eat protein filled milk chapati veggies now as this is your math period this is your math period so today we are going to learn and understand about table 3 as initially we have done table 2 we have learned about table 2 we have learned the table 2 and we have written the table 2 so now today we are going to move a step forward and we are going to understand learn and learn how to write table 3 table 3 in table 3 we have a set of three objects just like in table 2 we have the set of two objects let's the these are three objects and these objects are pen and marker so how many pen and marker 1 2 3 so this is set of three but this is one set this is one set like if i put it here set 1 so 1 times 3 is equal to 3 One time three is equal to three. One, two, three. And how many set? One set. How many set? One set. So one time three is equal to three. One time three is equal to three. And similarly, if I bring one more set like this, this is the one more set of three objects. How many objects count? One, two, three. so this is the second set of three objects if i place it here now we have two sets of three objects and 2 times 3 is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 2 times 3 is equal to 6 2 times 3 is equal to 6 speak with me 2 times 3 is equal to 6 now next we i am going to introduce one more set of 3 one more set of 3 and here i place three objects here i place three objects now we have three sets of three objects like one set two set three set each set is having three objects how many three one two three one two three One, two, three. Now three times three sets, three sets. So three times, and how many objects in three? Uh, each set three objects. So three times three is equal to nine. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have three sets 
of three objects. How many sets? One, two, three. Each set is containing how many objects? Three. We can see. So, three times three is equal to nine. Three times three is equal to nine. Now, one more set of three objects. We have one more set of three objects. How many objects? As you can see, we have three objects. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, now we have four sets of three objects. We have four sets of three objects. So, now this is four times three. How many times? How many sets? One, two, three, four. So, four times three. Four times three. Four times three is equal to? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, four times three is equal to twelve. Four times three is equal to twelve. Speak with me. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Now we have one more set of 3 objects. One more set of 3 objects. Now I will place this here. So this is our 5th set. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th set. So how many sets we have now? 5 sets of Three objects. One, two, three. So, five sets of three objects. Five sets of three objects. So, five times three is equal to, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. So, 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. As you can see, we have 5 sets. We have 5 sets. And we have sets of 3 objects. So, 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Now, let me take one more set of Three objects. How many objects? Three objects. And we will place the set here. So we have one more set of three objects. We have one more set of three objects. Now how many sets we have of three objects? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six sets of three objects. Each set is having Three objects. Each set is having three objects. And how many sets we have? Six sets. How many sets we have? Six sets. So, six sets of three objects. So, six times three is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18. So, 6 times 3 is equal to 18. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Now, let me have one more set of 3 objects. How many objects? 3. How many objects? 3. So, if I have one more set of 3 objects. Now, how many sets of 3 objects I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many sets I have? 7 sets. And each set is having 3 objects. So, 7 times 3 is equal to, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So, 7 times 3 is equal to 21. 7 times 3 is equal to 21. How many sets we have? 
we have in sets we have seven sets and each set is having three objects each set is having three objects so 7 times 3 is equal to 21 7 times 3 is equal to 21 now let me introduce one more set of three objects one more set of three objects now i have placed this set here now how many sets we have one two three four five six seven eight we have eight sets of three objects we have each eight sets and each set is having three objects so eight th times three is equal to let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four so eight times three is equal to twenty four eight times three is equal to twenty four eight sets of three objects is equal to twenty four objects now i have one more set of three objects one more set of three objects now i will place it here so now how many sets we have of three objects how many sets we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine we, now we have nine sets of three objects nine sets of three objects so nine times three is equal to let's count nine times three is equal to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six 27 so 9 times 3 is equal to 27 9 times 3 is equal to 27 we have 9 sets of 3 objects 9 sets of 3 objects and 9 times 3 is equal to 27 now our last set of 3 objects is here so i'm going to place it here now in total we have 10 sets of 3 objects. Let's count first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 sets of 3 objects. Each set is having 3 objects. Let's count how, how much 10 times 3 counts. How much 10 times 3 is equal to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So, 10 times 3 is equal to 30. 10 times 3 is equal to 30. So, children, this is table 3. This is table 3. Now, let's write table 3 as I have given in the worksheet.